Dear brothers and sisters, our catechesis today deals with St. Juliana of Cornillon, better known as St. Juliana of Liege. Born at the end of the 12th century, Juliana was orphaned young and became an Augustinian nun. Intelligent and cultured, she was drawn to contemplative prayer and devotion to the sacrament of the Eucharist. As a result of a recurring vision, Juliana worked to promote a liturgical feast in honor of the Eucharist. The feast of Corpus Christi was first celebrated in the Diocese of Liege and began to spread from there. Pope Urban IV, who had known Juliana in Liege, instituted the solemnity of Corpus Christi for the Universal Church and charged St. Thomas Aquinas with composing the texts of the liturgical office. The Pope himself celebrated the solemnity in Orvieto, then the seat of the papal court, where the relic of a celebrated Eucharist miracle, which had occurred the previous year, was kept. As we recall, St. Juliana of Cornelio, let us renew our faith in Christ's true presence in the Eucharist, and pray that the springtime of the Eucharist, which we are witnessing in the Church today, may bear fruit in an ever greater devotion to the sacrament of Christ's body and blood. I extend a warm welcome to the delegation from the International Catholic Migration Commission. I offer prayerful good wishes to the Sisters of Notre Dame of Coesfeld, meeting in general chapter. I also greet the priests from England and Wales, celebrating their anniversaries of ordination. Upon all the English-speaking visitors present at this audience, especially the pilgrim groups from Israel, Nigeria, England, and the United States of America, I invoke God's abundant blessings. <laughs> 